All who came to bid farewell to Sister Arma Bivi Latudi in Shisong left the cemetery of the deceased Sisters of St. Francis with a very clear message, namely, that the tertiary Sisters of St. Francis have learned to embrace death when it comes. Not because deaths have been frequent, but rather thanks to the Franciscan spirituality. In the canticle of St. Francis that was sung at the end of Sister Alma's funeral mass this Saturday, the 11th verse refers to death as sister. St. Francis embraced death and called it Sister Death. Radio and TV waves have been resonating since the evening of Sunday, 30th of April, with the transit of Sister Alma Bivirla of the Tertiary Sisters of St. Francis in Ginecom and the reception of her remains in the Shisong Farewell Home on Tuesday of the same week. The removal of her remains from the Shisong Farewell Home was this Saturday the 6th of April and after paying the last respect in the convent chapel, she was brought to the Sacred Heart Parish Church of Shisong for a holy mass that was very solemn in character. This Catholic prayer for Sister Alma was officiated at by His Lordship, the Bishop of Kumbo, with up to 30 priests and one deacon on the Holy Altar. Preaching to the biological and religious families of Sister Alma, together with all mourners present, His Lordship, Bishop George, laid emphasis on the fact that the first thing in walking into God's house should always be to worship, to give God glory and thanksgiving. The sisters of St. Francis, as they lay to rest another member of the religious family. Some people will immediately say this year started badly for them, and they should turn to their local gods to look for ways to arrest further disaster, further deaths to befall our sisters. Thank God, this sad event happens to a family of God and to the natural family who have powerful and living faith. At every liturgy, funerals included, the first and primary work as the church teaches is the praise and worship of Almighty God who has been good to us and through faith has saved us. He said that whatever thus quiet, devoted and consecrated sister Alma had to offer she received from God and all goes back to him. Nearly at the end of the solemn holy mass, the provincial superior of the tertiary sisters of St. Francis, Sister Gloria Wiba, took the stage to thank all present. It was in her words of comfort that she said we may so much concentrate on the negative side of death that we lose sight of the beautiful part of it, namely, the gift of everlasting life. Though death has gradually become our daily companion, we can become so focused on the obvious negative aspect of it that we fail to recognize the blessings that death may offer to us, especially the blessing of everlasting life. She made reference to their patron saint, Francis, who in his canticle calls on them to embrace death. For St. Francis sang, Blessed are you, O Lord, for our sister death, whom none of us can escape. Francis invites us to embrace rather than battle sister death. A prayerful procession was made to the cemetery of the deceased sisters, and Sister Alma was laid next to Sister Bridget Manka, who went ahead of her just three months and a week ago. This we ask through Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the princess of the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Knowing fully well that heaven has no visiting hours, Moones left the cemetery with the assurance that on the resurrection morning, we shall meet again with Sister Alma.